Black Tap has arrived in downtown Disney and they brought with them their famous craft burgers and crazy shakes. Located in the center of downtown Disney, right under the new Ballast Point restaurant, guests should expect to find burgers, beers, and what many have described as impossible to eat shakes. We'll put that to the test. Guests queue outside when it's busy, which is most of the time, then place their orders inside. Once you've ordered and paid, you find a table and the food is brought to you. It's kind of an interesting mix of counter service and table service. But on this point, if you have at least two people in your party, I highly recommend sending one out while you're waiting to place your order to scout for a table for the party. And if you're really just curious about the crazy shakes, but don't want to go through the trouble of finding a table, there is a quick service window outside where you can order shakes only. Inside, the aesthetic is modern, but leaning towards 80s nostalgia. The music inside is all 80s hits with some touches of 80s design. As mentioned, Black Tap is burgers and beers, but it's obvious the thing they put most of their effort into are the shakes, the crazy shakes. Did he really just put a slice of cake on top of that shake? And yes, that's a Choco Taco. We'll be visiting that later, but now it's time to eat. All right, so we're gonna start. Our shakes came first. Shakes first, look at this beast. So there's two churros. Two there's churros. Taco buried in Can't there. even see it. It's in there somewhere. Cinnamon toast crunch all along the sides. More whipped cream than you can shake a stick at. Caramel, and then down there is shake. By the way, not it's not even like a suggestion of a choco taco. It's a full size choco taco in there. Yeah, it's just sitting there. She did not appreciate the, uh, the, the the churro portion. It's not. There's no cinnamon on it. You can't really properly call that a churro, can you? Ian got himself a, a little cute little caramel shake. I don't need all that. It's also, very adorable. Most of that is just stuff on top. Yeah. Mine is all shake. All shake, baby. Like, I don't know how to eat this. With a spoon. In? Yeah, it's top down. That is that glass right here or is that ice cream? That looks like ice cream. It's frosting. It's like pure frosting. Oh, that's how that's how it's going on. It's frosting. <laughs> you don't understand. This is intense. That's all what I said, it's too stressful. That's why I got a regular shake. That's too stressful. You know, that's just pure frosting. It's pure frosting. <laughs> yeah, that's pure what, frosting. Yeah, that's literally, that's what's, that's literally what's holding the same Like, that's pure frosting. Is there nothing? It, that is all with cream. And the chocolate taco. Okay, Ian, you got the Tex... The Mexico. Yeah. This is the Mexico burger. And the, it's in there somewhere. Look, it looks like a... That's like a, a hat, that's like an a onion ring hat. Underneath pepper jack cheese, yeah. Onion rings, cilantro, pickled jalapenos. Wow. And there's also lettuce, tomato, and pickle I can put on. They give it to you on the side, and so people don't want it. Right, right. And those are just regular fries, or are they like sweet potato? They're, they're regular, but they're seasoned and salted pretty well. Okay. And then over here, Liz is working on the. She's already destroyed it. There's the burger. And what have you done? Well, onion ring in it. So we're sharing the. Uh, what do we get? The Texan. This is the Texan, which is like a barbecue stuff. I don't see the barbecue sauce though. Barbecue sauce. Those are the uh, fried pickles. But what Ian was saying earlier, yeah. chips are better to share with people or yeah. the slices, even though I like them more. This is a perfect size to share in this. Alright, let's see how that burger goes. Ian's going for it. He's he, oh my I'm, gosh! I'm not trying to hold it. He's trying to make the whole thing happen. <laughs> Good God! Yeah, get out of here! Savage! <laughs> Savage! By the way, we were already working on this. This is virtually unedible. I feel like we got hustled a little bit. I feel like Ian gamed us. He's like, you know what? You guys are, you guys are. Why are you messing around? That's the shape. I'm gonna try this burger first. The bacon is crispy. I like the bacon. Yeah. This is uh, it's fried, not not uh, in the oven. Baked, it's not baked. Yeah. It's good. good. You gotta try one of the pickles. You do too. Pickles. I have one. Oh, have one more. oh, have another one. I didn't, I didn't see your reaction. That's the butter milk dill. Right. Those are good. Those are good. You guys, I'm so full already. It's not even funny. Oh, there's these. There it is. Yeah. 
Look at that. Ethan, these can't be eaten. They really can't. They're just for Instagram. That's literally just a, a $20 photo. Yeah. Somewhere in there. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> I think we have enough to whip through some healthy. The shake is up to the top there. Brett, I tried to spoon some out and I couldn't find it. I don't know if I was being blocked by the churro or the choco taco. Because I want to get to, I want to find the shake. I don't know where the shake is, so let's pull this thing up. Are you going to eat it? sticking that on I forgot how big the choco taco is. I feel like I'm doing surgery. It's operation. And remove the churro without breaking or touching anything. Thanks, Ian. All right, now there's the shake. We can get out the shake now. Oh, there's, oh my god, there's some toes crunching in. Yeah, see that? Well, the shakes go. It's okay. Yeah. I believe they're non dairy, which is so weird. Yeah, non dairy. Yeah, they're all non dairy. Right. The point of this is supposed to be known for the shakes, right? This is the shake place. It's the crazy shakes. They got it up on the wall. Of all the things that we just had, that's the least enjoyable thing that I had. I, I agree. I would have preferred Ian's. Yeah, no, totally. Uh, if you've heard people talk about, oh, it's just all for show and it's a big giant piece of cake on top, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And it's too much. It's too much. I agree. I agree. The burger was great. Okay. The onion rings were great. Yeah, second favorite. The fried pickles were the best. Come here, get some fried oh, pickles. The pickles I and then onion the rings. Pickles are better than Carnation Cafe. Than Carnation they might. Cafe. Yeah, and, that, and I'm, that's saying a lot for me. And that pretty much says it all. It's a fun time out with friends. The vibe is nice. The shakes are amusing. But in the end, they are literally impossible to eat in anything resembling a normal fashion. You have to eat it in stages, which is not how I prefer my shakes. I don't want all the whipped cream first. I don't want to have to fish my Choco Taco out of the shake before I can even begin to enjoy it. It's simply too complicated. Taking some of the actual pleasure of having a shake away. And so when they say that these are all about Instagram, that's what they mean. They look pretty, but what about eating it? Then there's the price, which is not particularly affordable. One burger and one shake will run you almost $40 before tip. Otherwise, the food is actually pretty good, and we definitely recommend the fried pickles, as mentioned, but it's not a place you'd want to go regularly. Black Tap is more event than dining choice, like going to Farrell's when you were a little kid. And on that note, we'll conclude with saying that this is more a warning than a review. The food is good, the food is fun, just be prepared to work for it a bit and to spend more than a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time, fresh bake!